Hey guys. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Good morning. This is Doing Relationships Right. I'm Jennifer Hervitz and I'm your host every single Tuesday and Friday. And today is Friday. So of course, it's a um, solo episode. It's just me and it's uh, just Jen doing relationships right. And I get to pick a topic, which I love to do um, about dating or sex or romance or relationships, co-parenting, whatever. So today I'm doing a dating one and um, I'm doing a topic that I love to talk about. Um, singles and dating in over 40. So if you're single and you're dating and you're over 40, here's some tips for you to get back out there and do your thing. Because I feel like um, a lot of people in my Facebook group and a lot of people that I coach, um, my coaching clients are having a tough time after 40. And the young ones, the little chickadees that are getting out there have no problem. They're like, oh, we're going to do this again. It's no big deal. Get back on Tinder and swipe right or swipe left and blah, blah, blah. Um, and the ones over 40 are calling me up saying, I, I can't do this. I'm exhausted. I met another guy who's, you know, a narcissist, or I met another girl who's just a crazy bitch. And um, come on now, y'all, we're not all crazy and we're not all narcissists. In fact, only like 0.1% of people out there are um, clinically narcissistic. So um, let's just get off that. Okay. And let's st just stop calling everybody a narcissist. Stop diagnosing everybody, y'all, because that's not the truth. And we're not all crazy bitches and get that crazy matrix, hot matrix thing. Just stop that. Okay. Um, let's be more positive and let's just, I, I made a list here. I made a little list. I did some research. Um, and here's the deal, the dealiozy. Oh, today. Um, I'm going to tell you some tips for dating over 40. First of all, let's make sure you're ready. Are you actually ready to date? Are you ready to date? Or are you just saying you're ready to date? You're not really ready to date because if you've been divorced or you've been out of the game for a while and you're really not ready, don't do it. If you're going to be all crabby pants, and you're going to get on the sites and you're going to be, be all negative Nelly. And you're going to say, oh, well, this one's a brand or this one's so nah, nah, nah. You're going to find something wrong with every person out there. Then you aren't, you're just not ready to date. You've got to be a little more positive, people. You can't be calling me up saying that every Tom, Dick, and Harry is a dick. Okay, that's not going to, that's not going to work for me. Um, I have some clients that come in all the time and they're like, finding something wrong with every person that I say is good. Not everybody out there is a douche. Okay. You've got to give some people a chance and not every girl, you know, is too whatever. You know, I've got guys saying that this one is this and this one is that, and she spoke the wrong way or she said the wrong word or I, oh, for God's sakes, give people a chance. If you're not ready to date, you're not ready. And that's okay. Don't be calling me up if you're not ready. That's first of all. So number two, um, let go of the past, let go of the past move it forward. The past, you can learn from the past. I love learning from the past. You know, that's my biggest thing. I love learning from the past. I think you should always learn from the past, but leave the past behind you. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna, I'm not going to sing, but you know what I'm saying? Leave the past behind you and move forward. You learn from the past. That's great, but you've got to, you've got to leave it behind you and, you know, don't judge people based on their past. People have a past. It's, it, what can you do about it? You can't do anything about it. You don't judge them, don't blame them, don't hold it against them. When you're on a date and someone says to you, you know what, I, uh, maybe they tell you they cheated. Maybe they told you that they, they, they lost all their, their fiancés or money and they, or they were, you know what, people change. I don't know about that. Ugh, whatever. Yeah, but here's the thing, don't hold it against them. And also in your past, you may have learned some things or done some things that you're not proud of. Would you like someone judging you? No, you wouldn't. So leave the past behind you and just move it on, move it on. You know, you've got to learn from it and just move forward. That's going to help you in your next dating situation. Okay. Um, number three, self-love, self-care, self-worth, self, self, self. This podcast, look at my nails. Oh, don't look at my nails. I'm, I'm getting off here. Getting, not getting off really. <laughs> That's another topic. We'll talk about another time. Anywho, but yes, um, self-care, self-love, self-worth. You have to love yourself before you can love someone else. You know how I feel about this. I talk about it all the time. You must take care of yourself before you can date other people. If you don't love yourself, people, how can you love someone else? It's not going to work. You know, it's not going to work. I tell you this all the time. You come into me, you call me up, you come into my office. I don't have an office right now, but you come onto my Zoom screen and you tell me that you, you don't, you know, you're, you're overweight. You don't love yourself. You, you can't stand your big toe, whatever it is. If you don't love yourself, if you don't, have care for yourself. If you don't give yourself grace, how can you love someone else? No, mm -mm. no, let's work on that first. Self-love, take care of you, do something good for yourself every day. I don't care what it is. Meditate. <sighs> take a deep breath right now. Meditate. Maybe it's reading a book. 
Maybe it's watching a good show. Maybe it's taking a walk outside. I don't know. I don't, you know, I, I need to practice what I preach. I do not take care of myself. I don't. I don't. But on that note, you must. Okay. Number, what am I on? Number four, do not settle. How many times do I tell you this? Do not settle. Don't call me up and say that you are going out with a guy that you think is all right. Yeah, he's fine. I don't know. He, yeah, he's not the greatest, but he'll do. That is crap. I'm not going to no, look at Don't come crying to me when you tell me he doesn't square peg. You know, I feel square peg round hole doesn't work. If you're going to use me to coach, if you're going to call me and tell me to help you find your man or your woman, and then you tell me that you're going out with some girl that you really don't think is that great, I'm going to be mad. Someone just walked in my door. I don't know. Anywho, um, do not settle. Make that list of non-negotiables. If you're not going to hire me, at least make a niche, uh, that list of non-negotiables. What are your, what's your list? Make a list, make a list one to 10, the things that you are not going to settle for. Does a person smoke? Don't call me up and tell me that you're dating someone that's smoking. When you told me five minutes ago that you are, you will not be in a room with someone that smokes. Do you think I'm going to let you go out with that person? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You don't pay me to let you go out with people that smoke when you tell me not to. No, no, you're not. Okay. So that's that. Um, you, the, the thing that I got to tell you is you got to think with your head and listen to your heart. Does that make any sense? I learned that somewhere. Someone told me that. I don't even know. I think I learned it from a, from a dating person that I listened to, Matt Hussey or, or someone, Ramona, someone, I don't know. But the, 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 think with your head and listen to your heart. If the person that you're dating sitting across the table from, from you get that feeling that like you're going to puke, what are you doing? Leave. Get up. You don't have time. There's no time to waste. 40 and over, there's no time to waste. 25, you can waste a little time. Take a look. You know what? We'll talk. Okay. Number five, what am I on? Six, try new things. Don't say no so much. I'm not talking about sexual things. If you don't want to try something, don't do it. But here's what I'm on to try. You could, you could negotiate. But I'm saying, if you don't like roller skating, give it a try. Maybe you go on a date with a guy and he's like, let's go roller skating. And you're like, mm, shoot the duck is not my thing. I can shoot the duck, but let's say you don't like to shoot the duck. Give it a go. Put on some roller skates. Maybe it's fun. Maybe you like hiking. Maybe you don't. Maybe you should try it. Maybe if you tried it, you would have fun and then it would be fun and you'd like it. You know, just try new things. Give it a whirl. Life is short. Hmm. I don't know if you should roller skate if you don't like it, but try new things. That's all I'm saying. Try new things. Number six, while you're dating out there in the dating world, meet other single people. This was my biggest mistake. I did not do this. I did not meet other single people when I was dating. And all I did was date. I dated, 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 and I never met single people. But guess what happens when you meet other single people? They have single friends and your single friends meet other single friends. And then all of a sudden you're in like a group of single people and you're all like kind of hanging out. And maybe one of your single friends has a single friend to fix you up with. That's how this works. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Number seven, um, stop putting on so much pressure on yourself. Dating should be fun. I say this all the time. Dating should be fun. It shouldn't be a work or a job. You shouldn't feel like you're sitting by your phone all day long, waiting for that person to text you back. And then you call me and you say, it's been three hours. It's been three hours. She hasn't texted me. Or I think he's ghosting me. It's been a day. That is too much stress for everyone. I get stressed out. You're stressed out. Everyone's stressed out. It should be fun. Conversation should be fun. It should be all, all of it should be fun. Stop, stop pressuring. You know, it shouldn't take you three hours to get ready for a date. Pop on a baseball cap, put your hair in a, in a messy bun, put on some sunglasses, go for a walk in the park. It shouldn't be so stressful. You know, just take the pressure off and have, go for ice cream. Go for ice cream, have a good time. Make it a 20 minute date instead of a, you know, dinner and cocktails and the movies and blah, blah, blah. Just make it 20 minutes. I tell my clients, no longer than 15 minutes on the first date. It's a meet, it's a greet, and you move it on. If you like the person, that's great, okay? Uh, number eight, be clear about what you want. Dating over 40, here's a tip. You don't have time for this crap. Date, be clear what you want. What do you want? What are you looking for? Be clear and upfront, be clear. If you're looking for a serious relationship, why are you saying you're not? Why are you going on your first date and the guy says, I'm not really looking for anything. And you're like, no, me neither. I'm not either. I'm not really, you know, pass the salad or um, give me the Diet Coke. No, no, no. If you really are looking for something long-term and you're telling the guy you're not, what do you think he's going to change his mind? That's what you're thinking. I know you girls. That's what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'm going to change this guy's mind 
by day three, he's going to worship the ground I walk in. He's going to love me. He's going to love the blow job I give him. And he's going to change his mind. He's not. Okay. He's not, or he might, but then you know what, what he's not going to change his mind or he might change his mind. And then you're mad that you're resenting him that he's taken so long. It's three months down the road and you're resentful. Resentment is the whole other, that's another podcast. Okay. No, be honest. You're sitting across the table. He says to you, I'm really not looking for anything serious. I kind of want to date other people while we're dating. You say, okay, that's great. When you know what you want, if you're looking for something serious, if you do change your mind, call me here. You know, my number, I'm going to go catch an Uber. Bye-bye. See what happens then. Okay, great. Uh, number nine, make the first move. Be bold. Be bold. If he's, you know, not really interested, you don't think he's interested or he's not making, he is interested, he's not making the first move or vice versa, make the first move. Make it. Be strong. You're 40. You're sitting in your space. You're owning it. Be bold. Make the first move. Say, you know what? Look, I like you. You've been, you've been texting for four weeks and he's not saying, he's not asking you out. You know what? What are you wasting your time for? Say, look at, we've been texting for four weeks, which by the way, I don't allow anyway. We've been texting for four weeks. Let's go out. If you're not going to take me out or we're not going to go out or we're not going to make a phone call or we're not going to you know, have a Zoom date, then really I don't have time for this. That's making the first move. That's owning your, your, your chutzpah. That's owning it. And that's sitting in your space. Do it. Okay. Last but not least, this is one of my favorites. And this is one that I really do love. Feel young, be young. You are young. 40, 50, 60, I don't care. You are young. Be young. Date young. Just because you're 40 doesn't mean you have to date a 90-year-old. You could if you want. But I'm telling you, you can date a 25-year-old. Ah, cougars, pumas, you can date young. Be young. Feel young. Be young. You're not an old lady just because you're divorced. Your vagina is not drying up. It may be drying up. You may need some lube. That's fine. We'll talk about that later. I'm going to bring on a sex therapist, a couple sex coaches. I've got good ones. That's not a problem. What I'm saying is you are young. Be young. Live. Do fun stuff. Feel good about yourself. Put on a little lip gloss. Look it. You can't see me if you're listening. I've got lip gloss right here. I've got 14 different kinds. Put on some lip gloss. Just go. Do your thing. Be happy. Be young. Life is good. It's really not. It's COVID and I've been in my house for a year. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. It's all going to be okay. Just be, you know what? If a 27 year old asks you out, go, go. And it's for girls and for guys, just because guys date younger women doesn't mean girls can't date younger guys. That is an absolute piece of, no, moving on. Anyway, that's it. I'm annoying myself. I think it's been really much longer. I think today than 15 minutes because a micro episode is supposed to be under 15. I think it's been longer, but that's okay. Because I've just given you, I think 10 tips for dating if you're single and over 40, that's all there is to it. So everybody have a wonderful day. Um, and and um, I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to do a little, you know, what is it called when you get all, to, I don't know, I can't think of the word, but anyway, yeah, tips for dating. And you know what, if you want to hire me to coach you, I'm a badass and I don't mess around and I'll have you dating back out there and dating, but I do not take any crap and I will not let you settle because you cannot fit a square peg in a round hole. And I'm sticking to that. I'm Jennifer Hervitz, and I'm your host every Tuesday and every Friday on Doing Relationships Right. That's it. Everyone have a great day. Have a great weekend to do something fun for yourself. And I'm going to leave you with this little tidbit. Peace, love, and so much truth. Go grab my book, Woulda, Coulda, Shoulda, Divorce Coach's Guide to Staying Married, and find me on my website, www.jenniferhervitz.com, and join my Facebook group, Doing Relationships Right, on Facebook. Bye. Have a great day.